Whatever Mia is up to, I know that she is a visionary. And one thing that I also know about Mia is that she loves people and she loves women. And this is, um, this is a passion for her to really help women to reclaim their beauty and their magnificence. And I wanted to be a part of that. You know, there's, there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot that is portrayed as a concept. And what I feel that Mia is looking to create is a movement, yeah. which is about taking great information and moving it to a place of embodiment, which is what real transformation is about where we begin to live from these shifts that we are creating internally so that we can begin to create a different world and a different life from ourselves. And we know that it's about coming from that inner place, that life is a reflection of who we are on the inside. And as she talked about the differences of what she wanted this to be something that was organic and something that had and aliveness and that would speak to our hearts and our souls and really invite us to stretch outside of the limitations and our fears and to begin to embrace our greatness, which we fear, we fear embracing our greatness. I would say that the magazine is very provocative. It's bold in its statements. I think you will also find that we take risks. We like to approach things from a non-typical way that is innovative, that is fresh, that is conversational. What I'm prompted to say is one of my favorite poems. It has been a source of inspiration and motivation for me over the years, Mary. And it is when we come to the edge of all the light there is and must step into the darkness of the unknown we must remember one of two things. Either we will find something firm to stand on or we will be taught to fly. Bellamia is inviting you to fly. <laughs>